Hey guys, Kyle here, and today we have another quick one in the series. Hopefully this one will be shorter than all the others, but it's definitely a necessary step, and that is headshot detection. So right now we have a way to detect when we hit villagers, uh, which is good. We can also know who hit the villager specifically, but we don't know where on the villager we hit them. And obviously this extends to uh, other players and zombies. And we're going to be getting into the details of the hitboxes very shortly here. So let's just uh, get started. So uh, one thing that's going to be important is right here, I'm going to add at at s to all of our SFX. This goes under a minor bug fix, but I did not have at at s in here. And it was playing the sound at the origin in the last video. Uh, so we're going to go into our shoot and hit and in hit start. We're going to then run some branching stuff. So execute if entity at s tag e type equals hashtag gun colon humanoid. Okay, then run function gun. And then we're going to have uh, sorry guns uh, plural and we're going to have shoot hit humanoid. So we're going to go shoot hit humanoid just like that. And let's add an S here. So this just means that if it is humanoid, then we can do a headshot detection on it. Uh, you can hard code the other types of mobs that you want to support, but there are some issues with that. Um, so let's go ahead and add humanoid here. And some things that are humanoid is, again, the villager and the player are also humanoid, but uh, zombies are also humanoid and skeletons are also humanoid. And there's a bunch that are humanoid. So you can play or you can add to that as you will. So then we're going to go into the humanoid function, just like this. And then inside the raycast function, we're going to need to do this for our own simplicity. Um, so we're going to go into raycast and loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to return to the original starting position. So uh, we did all this positioned offset stuff, which isn't a problem, but if we want to detect more hitboxes, it's convenient to be back in the original starting position. So we're going to do the inverse of the second positioned argument plus the first positioned argument, which means we're going to go 85, 85, 85, because we went negative 0.15 and negative 0.7. Uh, and that's just a convenience thing. And I should have included it in the last video, but I didn't. So sorry about that. Uh, now inside humanoid, we're going to then use some special hitboxes. And that is something I will be pulling from another pack I did. Um, and these are special hitboxes I've shown before. They're not the best hitbox, uh, but they are definitely a hitbox uh, for different positions. So we're going to just change this to guns. And then we're going to change this to shoot slash hit slash uh, head. Okay. And inside here, inside this function, then the hit start, let me make sure shoot hit humanoid. Cool. So uh, if you, the way that this works, and I'll just do this very quickly, is we have hit them somewhere on their body, right? We are somewhere here. And we're going to shift it down and look for the origin. So for humanoids, their origin is at their feet. So if we shift down a bunch and look if the origin is close to me and we find it, that means we started somewhere up here. So if we shift down by 1.7 blocks, that is start, while starting up here, we go about a 1.7 blocks down and then we look for the feet in a radius, we will find them. But if we start here at the feet and we move down 1.7, we'll be inside the ground and we will not find them in that, that distance. And so it won't trigger the head hitbox. You can play around with changing these values to your needs. They're not perfect. I tried to make sure that they don't overlap, but they might overlap. So we'll definitely account for that later. So this will say hit head. This will say hit body. This will say hit legs. Okay. And so then we will make some new files here. So we're gonna have head and we'll do the same thing for all types. So if we add more types, it'll still go to head, body, legs. It'll just have different uh, hitbox detection regions. So then we open these and we'll say, say hit legs and we'll go say hit head and then we'll go say hit body. Sorry about that. I haven't worked on this pack in a while, but uh, essentially we just need to change all of these uh, 
references to uh, singular guns. I just I have two packs that have different namespaces, uh, but it should just be the singular. So if it's all singular, then it should work just fine. There you go. So it says hit head. Uh, it says humanoid with a misspelled H. So it says hit head, hit body. And it can't hit the legs because there is a uh, slab there. So I'll shoot, move it over and there you go, hit legs. So that works just fine. We're gonna be doing things based on that when we go into the damaging system. Uh, we're just going to throw in some mul headshot multipliers and stuff like that. But for now, that's it. Just hitboxes for the heads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.